with it, when it comes to the world and the story, I think a lot of our inspiration, well, firstly, it was taken from a lot of films, but the reason why we came up with this idea and wanted to create a story about it was because with everything from like uh, political climates to things like the pandemic that we've had recently and everything, I think a lot of that kind of got us into like this mindset of like a world ending scenario or even like a, a disaster scenario. I think a message has to be conveyed in some way, shape or form. Whether or not it's uh, positive and negative, I think as long as it's all for the right reasons and comes across leaving an audience or a viewer kind of questioning something or kind of maybe finding make it, something new. Yeah, make it finding something new, making them think something. I think then yeah, I think artists do have a responsibility. My main focus is uh, just to show in the film sustainability, but obviously it's not the narrative. And then also in our making of the film, try and be sustainable at it's the like same time. Natural light as much as possible. Yeah, because um, it just to me it seems just so silly to make a film that's around sustainability and not be sustainable whilst making the film. I chose to shoot the whole film on a really wide lens. A lot of it is shot very far away from the subjects and the reasoning for this was because it's about being watched by uh, higher up, so in this case the government. The wide lens obviously creates a distortion all, all the time so it just to me makes that tone of the world being uh, close to what we have but something's kind of off. The thing I like most about the cinematography is there's there's not a lot of variation but I think that kind of works because like you say the it's almost like they are being watched. Like through writing the thesis at the moment just and watching a lot of dystopian films there is a very distinct sort of notion of how dystopia should sound and it a lot of it is just silence and absence because I think this is it's not about you know hunting strings and like choirs and stuff like that it's a very sort of subtle but just evocative soundscape that kind of gets across the just gets across the general sort of mood and desolation of these of the sort of environment We can't always believe what um, like our government tells us. Don't, don't believe everything don't believe they say. Media. So I think sometimes you, you can't always look at what's on the news and take it. You sometimes have to take it with a pinch of salt and just you try and find out the truth sometimes and things. Um, and I think that's what the story, especially in Sparrow's perspective, I feel like she's discovered this truth and she's trying to get it out. And then more stuff seems to come up and she's kind of thrown into the many obstacles to get there. Me and Sparrow are quite similar by like how independent Sparrow is. I like to think of myself as like an independent person, you know. I rarely ask for people's help, like I want to do stuff myself and whatnot. So I feel like I'm quite similar to her in that, that way. What I enjoyed the most about working on this project is that we were like brave and we were taking a lot of risks and like even if like that makes our life harder and like lowly especially <laughs> but like we had a tons of cool ideas and even if they they were like hard to 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 maintain or like even like the the final result wasn't as great we weren't ex like afraid to experiment for example i love how we have like a ton of uh one shots and i think they they're something you rarely see in film student uh, film film productions because um well, it's easier to hide behind a close-up sometimes. There is a reason behind it, and we 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 chose a style and we sort of stuck to it. And I think that's that's quite brave to do. Uh, and yeah, we did it for for the narrative, not for the convenience of stuff. I think it's it's blocking that sort of separates our film from other student films that I've seen, and the blocking has been done amazingly. Having having the editor's opinion on set as to what will work and what won't work is why is what i think has been the saving grace and I also think. can i just say oh, well done <laughs> we we are the only film group that shot the whole film on the alexa i'm really proud of that yeah we've had our moments haven't we you know every film crew has their moments but i think at the end of the day we've come out all the better for it 
you know, because we've, we've come together as a really, really good team. Those moments came out as a positive anyway because we've learnt about each other, we've learnt how each other work and we've, we've um, made room for that, you know what I mean? I feel like the architecture of it is as well as a massive thing of production design and that's kind of what I wanted to put across as well. It's not all about fancy sets and fancy costumes, it's the world that you're in. getting shot with the squid. That was so like nerve wracking to like work up to because I wanted to get it right first try and I was just kind of stressing and it all worked out because we got it right first try. I had a look at like CO2 and like the gas canisters and I just thought I'd just rather do it air powered because it's, you got more control of it then as well and I'm just glad it worked, worked well. I think my fondest memory from filming it's just, I think there was times where Laura would dance and get everyone mm -hmm. dancing and it was just a, it was a good vibe, a good, uh, good vibe. To be honest, I think the whole thing's just been, been great, to be honest. I don't really have specific memories, but yeah, it's been, it's been a great time.